this question a lot and it is what are people looking for in a house that's over a million dollars um i get this a lot from a lot of people who are looking who are not looking who are thinking to buy look thinking to sell and i'm going to tell you right now what it is so we have so many beautiful houses i've talked about the architecture in pittsburgh and how great it is um, and when you go in now um, a lot of houses have been updated um, in ways that people have updated maybe five to ten years ago maybe more um, when you place your house on the market for over a million dollars those updates start to start to calculate real quick in people's heads so i'm going to tell you right now what people are looking for um, the updates that they are looking for are pretty simple you did your kitchen 10 years ago you still think it's amazing you think it's beautiful and you know what it probably is for you but if you're at a 1.5 2 million dollar mark that house or that kitchen i'm sorry is starting to look like i might have to redo it as a buyer so what I'm gonna tell you right now is just do the minimal things. Maybe update the countertops, maybe do the cabinets, paint them, um, get new appliances to be put in. These are the things that like really will set your home apart, especially in the East End market. Um, another thing that everyone close to a million and over is looking for right now, and it is a gym. It is a gym. I don't know where you need to put it. I don't care what, what you need to do buy those plasticky like connecting floors throw some weights in a room and call it your gym you can make it look really cool and not spend a lot of money on it but you probably have gym equipment and that's what you can do people really respond to that um the second thing that a buyer in this market who is usually in like the age range where i am which you can guess however you want and how old that is is that they're looking for two at least two office spaces at home office spaces because people are going to the office less as much as we hate to say that in some corporate worlds they are going to the office less so we encourage and I encourage that you figure out spaces if you can to put those two offices it's a little bit of staging for some houses but it can really pay off in the long run this is staging that doesn't take a lot of furniture or like a new kind of ideas it's really something that you can do simply and not spend a lot of money on. Um, another piece, and this is for, I'm gonna say this for especially the million, two million and above, the deferred maintenance. Do your best to take care of it. Call your like local mason guy, call your roofer. Even if the roof doesn't need a lot of work or it needs a ton of work, you are in like you having an estimate for that ton of work will go a long way in your inspection and so that people will know what they're actually buying into it also helps you price your house correctly um, the other thing so to over two million dollars over two million dollar listings really in pittsburgh they need to be ah, chef's kiss you need to do the deferred maintenance you need to update the kitchens the bathrooms the bathrooms are a little bit trickier but if you can update some of your bathrooms, maybe not all, it can really help transform your house and make it into the space that people really want to live in. And they don't calculate what they're going to spend on bathrooms, what they're going to spend on kitchens. I hear a lot from people, and I hate this, but I hear a lot like, well, they're going to change the kitchen already. I want you as a buyer to get the best price that you can get. And I want my sellers to also feel like they're getting something. When we talk about kitchens and two, over $2 million houses, when a kitchen needs to be redone, it's about money, but it's also about a family of sell, a buyer's time. They are thinking in their head, I can redo this kitchen, but am I going to have to, how long is that going to take? How long are my children going to be eating, you know, on, in a, like, off of a toaster, a toaster oven um, in the living room. It's okay and people will do it, but it is something that people are looking for, a feeling that they will do it in the long run, but over two million, they definitely want those cabinets to be updated with right colors for now. They would love to have you know, new appliances, just something to get them through the next five or so many years. And then it's their problem, not your problem anymore. Those are my tips.
for today.